Godzilla is the strongest monster in the world. It is getting ready to go to the power plant. It is struck by two unmanned bomb-loaded trains. The blast makes Godzilla's legs sink into the ground. This is only the initial step of the plan. Immediately, the Ministry of Defense sends several drones to drop bombs on the monster. As a result, numerous drones are instantly destroyed. Isn't this a surefire way to die? Actually, this is the expert's devised strategy. As long as Godzilla releases the energy overload, it will enter a brief dormant state. Under the drone's harassment, Godzilla immediately starts crazy output. Its dorsal fin releases a terrifying heat ray. Now, just wait for Godzilla to tire out. But Godzilla doesn't follow the routine at all. Its tail also emits a terrifying heat ray. It performs lateral output from front to back. Although the cost paid far exceeds the estimate. Luckily, Godzilla's energy runs out. Next step begins, the military detonates the pre-placed bomb. They're prepared to control it. As the buildings around are demolished, the exhausted Godzilla is also buried under the rubble. The military swiftly dispatches bulldozers to clear the front path. Followed closely by numerous tanker trucks behind. They inject a significant amount of freezing drug into Godzilla's body. But halfway through the process, an accident occurs. Purple light emits from Godzilla's back. Upon awakening, it exhales a formidable heat ray. Instantly destroy all the cam trucks in front. But when Godzilla tries to stand up, it moves very slowly. The recently administered freezing drug proves effective. So, the Ministry of Defense mobilizes many trains again, aiming to repeat the old trick. As the trains race towards Godzilla, the power of the huge explosion knocks Godzilla unconscious on the ground again. Right after, many pipes forcefully shove into Godzilla's mouth once more. Hundreds of tons of freezing drug are quickly poured in. Godzilla fells its stomach churning, making it uncomfortable. It resists with all its strength. Rip off the tubes and stand up. But in the next second, he became an ice sculpture. Everyone sighs with relief. But the crisis remains unresolved. Because according to scientists' inference, Godzilla is likely to wake up again one day. Japan will face a catastrophic disaster then. Though Godzilla has been killed. Leaving a giant corpse for the country. And they actually want to use this monster's corpse. To freeze it into an ice sculpture exhibit. To attract foreign tourists. However, due to the rapid temperature difference caused by external liquid nitrogen freezing. The monster's body temperature rises. The quick freezing plan fails entirely. But then, even more terrifying things happen. As the temperature rises, the ice starts melting. A hot air balloon size abscess is formed on the monster. Concerned it will blow up. Experts recommend puncturing the abscess to release gas. The PM and officials say it will impact tourism. Seems like they prioritize money over lives. It's a disaster after the gas inside the abscess explodes. Rapidly spreading in the air and suffocating some citizens immediately. Officials from the environmental department state that it's just the smell of excrement and rotting fish. No harm, yet many are killed by the fumes. Must come out a more reasonable explanation. The PM speaks again. What the Godzilla actually released is the smell of ginkgo. And everyone feel much better after hearing it. They disregard this matter momentarily. But a new problem arises. A larger abscess grows on the monster's body. The consequences would be unimaginable if it explodes. Officials swiftly devise a solution. To use water. They send the monster rushing into the Pacific Ocean, as they lack jurisdiction there. They call this project a wandering monster. Next, they're gonna blow up upstream dam. They spent a lot to build it, in order to move the Godzilla's corpse in a toilet flushing manner. After exploding the dam, a huge flood rushes downstream. Due to strong water flow, the monster's corpse is actually pushed. Everyone cheers, assuming the plan works. What they never expect is that, after the flood enters the Godzilla's mouth, the powerful water flow actually opens a switch underneath Godzilla. The flood swiftly washes away all within it, and a new round of disaster follows. 
This is the weirdest case of mutated bacterial infection I've seen. He is covered in mushrooms. Eventually, he will become a true vegetable person. And this is caused by Godzilla's corpse. The monster's body has grown a very big abscess. Once explodes, there will be a significant amount of toxic gas released. To dispose of the giant corpse, people will flush it into the Pacific Ocean. As the monster's foreign objects are flushed out, the toxic gas is also sprayed out. They combine and create mutated bacteria. The downstream areas experience extensive flooding. The washed away people are also infected by the bacterium. The Minister of Environmental Protection insists on deceiving people. A girl suddenly notices a mushroom growing on the minister's neck. She is worried that it will scare the minister. So she covertly removes it for her. The minister is unaware she has been infected with this bacterium. This is because in the previous live broadcast, she accidentally fell into the monster's wound. The minister will soon be like the vegetable man. She will grow mushrooms all over. The monster remains unwashed. The abscess on its body starts to swell once more. If not addressed promptly, highly likely to cause a new explosion. There's no other way. The military decides to launch missiles to destroy it. But at this moment, the soldiers find a person on the corpse. That is the girl's boyfriend Taka, a few days ago. A master with 30 years of experience running a barbecue stall. An expert proposed an unreliable smoke plan. It is said the inspiration came from the range hood. Simply saying, two holes are made on either side of the abscess. The gas creates a spinning airflow. And then another hole is made on the top, the three points of discharged airflow will spiral upward like a tornado. Ultimately emitting the toxic gas into the air. The boss ignores it, so Taka takes matters into his own hands. And soon he makes two smoke exhaust holes successfully. Which appears somewhat effective. As the expert said, the expelled airflow indeed formed a vortex. As long as another hole is punched in the abscess. Then the gas can be rapidly released into the atmosphere. But at this moment, a missile flies past him from behind. Desperate girl rushes to the scene, thinking Taka is killed. But the next second, Taka stands up. With a bright light, the girl sees a huge figure. That's right, Taka is Ultraman. Ultraman viewers know he runs out of energy after defeating the monster. It is the missile, just now that recharges his energy, 